Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today my Copic blending tip for you is patience, grasshopper. Sometimes patience is required. So I'm gonna show you how that plays into Copic blending. And I'm starting off with this reverse confetti set with these darling little toucans, I just love them. This one guy on the left didn't have anything he was standing on. He, he's not standing on a branch, so I made him a branch that he's standing on. And since he's giving a toucan of his friendship to his little buddy, I made him hold the flower, masked it out, and then I just drew the other half of his mouth so it looked like he was actually holding it. Now for the blending tip. For the most part, if you wait and let your Copic marker dry, you will see whether or not it's gonna maintain its blending. There are some times when the color goes down on the paper and the alcohol is discoloring the paper itself because the alcohol is moisture. So it's going to give it a little bit of a grayish color, even though you know, you're seeing yellow here. As it dries, it's going to dry differently as it evaporates. You're gonna to want to potentially go back in and work on it again. And a lot of people just want it to come out right the first time and they just keep coloring and coloring and coloring and coloring and coloring, trying to get it to work instead of just wait and see what happens. Now here I'm trying tip to tip just to see if that would work to fix some of this area that's not as blended as I wanted. It's not really doing all that much, but I decided, okay, I'm gonna throw in a little more of my Y04 and then go over it with a little more of the Y17 and yeah, I decided to just leave it and let it go for a while and go back and work on it again later because it was getting too wet. If it gets too wet, it's gonna bleed outside the lines and then you're toast. You really don't want to bleed outside the lines. You guys know how that goes. Then you're stuck trying to repair things and fix all the bleeding. Now for a black bird, I'm using a gray and then a black. I'm using the 110 just because that's what my hand came to. I don't see any difference between the 110 and the 100. Whichever one you get is perfectly fine for a full on black. And here I went back again because I decided that Y04 just didn't want to blend. So to heck with it. And I went right over top of it because it didn't, as it dried, it did not blend the way I wanted it to. So be prepared to just make it a little darker color. The Y17 brought it all together for me and it was just fine. So now I'm going to use a couple different reds to create some red stripes and then I'll use that silly Y04 that is not working for me this day. Now there are some markers that you'll find never work for you. There are some markers that you'll find always work for you. And then there's sometimes just whatever it is about that day, it doesn't want to work and it's just the way it is. So be patient with yourself, be patient with your markers, take your time, let it dry if it's not working and don't overdo it because if you overdo it sometimes that's worse than going out and sending out a card that's not perfectly 100 percent perfectly blended so i'm going to use a couple different greens here to make my leaves and it had a little bit of dark kind of on one side of each leaf not worried too much on any of this about where the light's coming from mostly shading things on the bottom that is a pretty safe way to go for the most part and i'll use a mid-tone green to blend those two greens together i will do the second one with slightly different rotation of colors instead of using the really lighter um, the lighter gray to start with i'm starting with a darker gray starting with an n8 instead of an n6 and as I've said before too, it doesn't matter whether you have the N's or the C's or the T's or the W's. If you're coloring something black, any of the grays work and you don't need all of them. The neutrals and the toner grays are a bonus. They help me to not have to re-ink my markers as often because I have more grays to choose from, but you don't have to have them. I would get the cools and the warms if you're looking for which grays to get that'll get you the most usage and get like every other number in each one and you're usually pretty good to go. I decided to use the same colors for both of my two cans, just because I didn't want too many colors on the card. Although you might be a person who likes too many colors on the card, so you can make them all different kinds of combinations if you wish. But I'm doing the same rotation 
of like color it, wait for it, color it, wait for it that I did with the other guy. And this little branch, since this it's a different tree, he's obviously on a different tree, it's got a different kind of leaf on it since I made that out of one of the other stamps in the set. I'm going to put my dark on the tips on the outside instead of putting it on the inside, which often I might do, or I might do like I did on the previous leaves and put shading all the way down a leaf. You can do whatever you want because it's yours to color as you wish, right? That is what coloring is all about. It's making our own fantasy world with our coloring, the way we want it to come out. So now I'm left with the flower. I left it for last so I could decide which colors I wanted more of on my card. And so I decided I wanted a yellow flower with a reddish center and then add some little highlights to their eyes. And thus our final card. I popped the panel, cut off a little bit off the bottom so there's a little of the red showing and used some dimensional adhesive to raise the whole thing up off the card to make it a little fancier than just sticking the panel onto the card by itself. And I love how it came out. Hope you did too. If you did, click that like button. You can click on my face to subscribe to my channel, watch a couple other videos here. Or if you're interested in a Copic class, there's one there on the screen if you want to learn more about your Copic markers. Talk to you guys later. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.